Alrighty guys, I hope everyone is having a great and wonderful day today. Today is another day wearing Moldavite without a grounding stone. But I must say guys that, you know, before I really talk about what I've been, what I've been experiencing, what I've been feeling more so often now without the grounding stone, I want to say that I'm very thankful because a couple of nights ago, you know, I came across the Joyce Myers Ministry Convention Conference that they were having, and they're actually having it here in Denver um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays. And so I've been just going to each, um, you know, event each time that she's had available right now. And let me tell you guys, it's just so intense. I mean, I love what I'm hearing, and I'm getting answers, and I'm getting breakthroughs through everything that, you know, questions that I've been having lately. And so I really just want to put that out there. Um, it actually happened synchronistically because I was asking, I was asking God a question. And then like when I had the Moldavite with me, it's like, boom, all of a sudden I was guided intuitively to check something out. And it was just an alignment. Everything was in alignment. I, I was able to go um, and I'm still going. I still have another um, two more times that she's going to be presenting um, throughout this convention, which will be tonight later on i believe at 7 and tomorrow morning at 10 a.m and so i'm super excited for that guys and i really wanted to share that with you um because if you're looking for answers i recommend going because i know i've been finding a lot of breakthroughs in my life and just getting a bunch of revelations on questions that i've been having and i believe you know when you take moldavite with you as well there's something magical that happens the energy is already high as it is and when you enter the atmosphere you just become aware of it and you're more grounded you know I, I feel like I've become grounded being in that environment without really purposefully trying to I feel like the energy really grounds me and so anyways guys I really just wanted to share that with you um, because it's super exciting I've been wanting to see your live um, you know, I guess this year, just when I started really listening to her messages, I really love how she speaks and what she says about God and just how she preaches. And so, yeah, I really just wanted to share that with you. If you guys have her coming through, you know, in your city, in your town, and your, you know, just anywhere near you, I definitely recommend going to go see her. If you're looking for answers, if you're looking, you know, for just something, you know, I recommend really going. And so, Really though, guys, you know, if we get to the topic of what does it really feel to be a Moldavite, you know, it really is intense. Like I've said in so many of my videos, and I've also noticed that unconsciously I've been doing things that I believe are grounding me, right? Like being out in nature, being around, you know, um, being in an atmosphere full of like godly people. Like I really feel like that energy has grounded me without me even really trying to, right? Because I have my Moldavite here in my pocket. And so I've really been noticing though, guys, that also as well, that it does feel like I'm on some kind of floating drug and, or like really, really, really drunk. And the reason I could say that is because I have done those things way back in the day, like way back in the past. And honestly, I don't even find that though doing those things any more satisfying because I realize at the end of the day, it's temporary, right? It's just this, it, it, do, it just doesn't do anything for my soul. And there's more consequences to doing it than not doing it. And so working with Moldavite, I guess kind of brings up those feelings for me. And I don't know if it would for other people if they haven't experienced that, or maybe you wouldn't know how to compare it. But that's what I kind of compare it to guys when I'm wearing Moldavite without a grounding stone, it really does feel like I'm drunk or I'm like on ecstasy or, or I've just taken shrooms, mushrooms, and everything just seems more vivid. Everything just seems more alive. And, you know, I'm very in tune with groups. I'm very aware. It's like being an observer. It's almost like being an alien and just observing people from the outside and like becoming like a scientist almost. And to me that's very interesting it's very very um exciting and i've also been aware more of the transformation i actually feel like the transformation i am more aware now of how the transformations happen as you know i'm getting breakthrough after breakthrough as i'm at these conferences i literally am and now aware as how my mind starts to upgrade itself 
like it's like live it's literally like i'm i'm in my body i'm in my body i know what's happening but yet i'm observing it from still within my body but realizing that it's like I'm watching myself from inside my body and I'm seeing how my mind is like evolving by listening to the things that she's saying um, my energy is also changing and it's just amazing to become aware of that so if anything guys you really do become aware of your surroundings um, when you're not wearing Moldavite, I mean, when you are, I don't know why I keep saying that, when you are wearing Moldavite, right, without a grounding stone, okay, and like I said, sometimes you end up doing things, um, you know, that subconsciously ground you, I know, like, dipping my feet in water, like, maybe, or taking a shower, or just something like that, for me personally, water actually grounds me for some reason, I feel like I'm connected with nature, Anything that I do outside really grounds me without even me like meditating about it or, you know, it just kind of happens like that. Or being about around a lot of, you know, positive people really grounds me as well. Um, but that's just me, guys. Um, but like I, like I said, I'm still just working with Moldavite without a grounding stone. And just taking it day by day, you know, really becoming aware of everything around me, which is something that I... It's just amazing to me. Everything's just more alive. You have more intuition. You have, it's just, um, it's a great and amazing adventure that I believe takes time to also adjust because I believe this is now my third or fourth day um, doing this and I've actually, have gotten used to it now. Like I remember the first couple of days, oh my gosh, it was very, very, very intense. But now it's like, I've gotten used to it. You know, I've gotten used to it. I thought I was going to go over the edge, maybe just a little, but um, I, I didn't I just I just got used to it and so I really wanted to share that with you guys um, tomorrow is the Sabbath I, I believe today is Friday um, I've been losing just track of time but I believe tomorrow is Saturday I will be doing my meditation I will also be at the conference so maybe if you guys are in Denver you guys maybe will stop by at the Pepsi Center at 10 a.m. to Maybe do some worship, you know, do some prayers or, you know, just to maybe get a word, maybe get some kind of revelation. I will be there tomorrow um, in the morning. And also, guys, I will, after the conference is over, I will be going on a meditation. So I hope, actually, I know you guys will join me on this uh, meditation because it's very powerful and it's very much needed, especially, you know, in this day and age and in this world. And what I'm going to be doing, guys, is meditating on first loving myself more profoundly you know receiving god's love really filling myself with that high frequency of unconditional love um doing that first filling myself up with that unconditional love and then guys and then i'm going to be sending that out to people who are hurting right people who need love people who have never experienced love you know and that's what i'm going to be doing tomorrow um, maybe for like an hour but just I think if I just put that intention out there others will start to do it as well and we could just start to notice and raise the frequency of this world by sending love to people first of all who have never experienced love to start getting them to raise their frequency and um, but it first begins with us guys we first have to raise our frequency in order to give you know from a full cup instead of an empty cup so i will be doing that tomorrow and i know you guys will be joining me so just get ready um the more we do this i know that we will see more positive changes in this world and we'll be able to help you know um be that spiritual light for others and so i really wanted to to put that out there and um yeah I'm super excited guys. I'm getting ready again for the conference tonight at 7. Um, yes, so Moldavite without a grounding stone right now. I've definitely become very accustomed to it now. Um, but yeah, everything is just more alive. I feel like I'm actually in a dream-like state and yet still functioning, which I know I will do more, probably another writing about that, maybe later tonight. I'm not making any promises, but I definitely um, we'll see if I have time tonight to do like a, a another document writing on this Moldavite challenge and um, really go in depth as to some of the dreamlike states that I'm now experiencing while I'm awake, which I think is very interesting. And I think um, many of you will actually enjoy reading as well. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Um, I will attune with you guys tomorrow on the Sabbath. I send you guys so, so, so much love. 
um, don't forget to dis don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and give this video a thumbs up as well share it with your friends let's get this moldavite movement movement working and spreading so we can be the light in this world so thank you guys for watching and i send you guys so much love and i will talk to you guys very 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 soon